The last song, like all of my novels, is a love story. Ronnie meets Will. She crashes into him. <clears throat> Emotionally, that's what I wanted the impact to be on her. And there it is in the movie. They crash into each other. The movie begins. I'm Will, by the way. Let me buy you another shirt. No, thanks. I'm good. Come on. I'm just practicing Southern hospitality. Oh, really? That's what they call hitting on strangers now? Ronnie and Will have two very different backgrounds. She's a little more independent, doesn't have a lot of money, and he's very wealthy, very taken care of by his parents. This is your house. You live here? He definitely does have it a little bit easier on the surface. That's what she thinks. But it turns out that, you know, his life has been just as crazy as Ronnie's. Look, Will, we don't have to do this. Maybe you should find someone that's more suited to your lifestyle with her own rich parents, her own perfect mansion. Okay, Ronnie, there is nothing perfect about that house. I mean, can you not see that? Working on the relationship between Ronnie and Will, you want to have conflict. If you don't have conflict, you don't have a story. They're from two different worlds, except that their hearts are the same, but it doesn't show at the first glance. Action! Working with Liam was a lot of fun because this is something new for both of us. It's kind of his breakout moment in the States, and this is kind of my breakout moment away from what people know me as. So it's it's cool being able to share that with somebody. You could kind of tell from that very first day that the chemistry was there. There was no fear there from either of them, and that was really good news for me. This is love on any number of levels. It's a dance of sorts. It's a music of sorts. You hit the right notes, and then something magical happens as a result of that. You appear 